In this video, I will use literature references and some analysis I've done over time in order to make an example of a sewage water quality that would be used as a raw water source for drinking water. This water quality I will use for the MBA, Microbiological Barrier Analysis. So first, let's look at the literature and the references I will use to estimate a water quality or sewage water quality after a treatment plant. Normally, on a wastewater treatment plant, you don't analysis of the parasites, the viruses and the bacteria, because you know there are several of them. So what I have done in order to make this MBA, I have gone into literature and I show you the literature list here. And I've gone through this, made some assumption and basically used this or these references as guidelines for the MBA and the water quality of a fictive wastewater. With that, let's have an overview of the wastewater treatment plant. When I went through the literature, there are of course many types of variations of wastewater treatment plant. But the one that I show you here on the picture is maybe the most common one, where you have a pretreatment, you have a biological treatment, and a sedimentation after which the water is treated and released to the recipient. So this is the how should I say the type of wastewater treatment plant I have. Uh, assume that the values from the literature can apply to. Also, I show you here in yellow the assumed log reduction for parasites. There weren't too many figures of that, so I assumed this to log reduction in regards to parasites. With that, now let's look at the results of treatment over this type of plant and the results that we're going to use to put in the MBA. The result of the literature study based on some indicator parameters are the following. E. coli, I had used reference 1 through 7 to estimate a mean value in the outgoing water from the wastewater works I just showed you. For the Clostridium perforingens, I have used reference 7 to get the mean value in the outgoing water. And for Giardia and Cryptosporidium, I have used references 8 to 10 to come up with a 8 or sorry log 2 reduction over the wastewater treatment plant. With this, let's have a short summary of the count of the bacteria, viruses and and parasites that we're now going to use to make the MBA. Summarizing the literature study, we're now going to look at the indicators and the counts of the different indicators. E. coli, about 15,000 of them coming out in the treated water from the wastewater treatment plant. Clostridium perforingens, 3,200 coming out from the wastewater treatment plant. And Giardia, 16 counts and cryptosporidium, two particles in the effluent from the wastewater treatment plant. With this, we have now the treated wastewater that I'm going to use in order to make an MBA for drinking water production based on this raw water. So the next video, we will start our journey with the MBA and how to get the drinking water safe. See you soon.